In this lesson of Solid Edge Cam Pro, we'll wrap up the machining of our first part by showing you how to drill the holes. First, let's talk about drilling holes for just a second. Generally speaking, holes will be created by multiple operations. The first operation will be a spot drill or center drill to keep the tool from wandering off the location. You see, a drill doesn't really have a center point, so as it makes contact with the work surface, it may not drill exactly on point. This is especially true for long drills. A spot drill, as the name implies, makes a spot for the shoulder of the drill to make contact with to ensure that it doesn't wander off the actual point that we want to drill at. Next up, obviously, is to actually drill the holes. The drill comes in contact with the shoulder that the spot drill created and then proceeds to remove the material from the hole. The rest of these operations that we will talk about may or may not be necessary depending on the design of the hole itself. For example, if necessary, a counterbore tool is used to create a counter bore or a spot face on the hole. Generally, a counter bore tool has a pilot which proceeds into the hole first to help guide the spot drill tool or the counter bore tool. Next, if the specifications call for a very tight location of the hole, we will bore that hole for the location. If the hole has a very tight location for tolerance size, then we can use a reamer to make that hole very close to the exact call out size. A countersink, as the name implies, will put a chamfer on the top or the bottom of a hole. And then of course a tap to put threads in the hole. I want to caution you that it's generally not advised to bore and ream a hole and then tap it. I just used this sequence to show you the variety of hole making operations that we could use. Finally, here's a video of all the operations put together. Spot drill, drill counter bore, bore, ream, countersink, and then tap. So in this lesson, we'll show you how to change operation templates. We'll show you how to create a tool from scratch. We we'll use information object to gain information about the geometry that we're dealing with. We will create a spot drill and drilling operation, and we'll set the feeds and speeds for those operations. Let's get started. So far in our lessons, we have faced the top of the part, and we have also cut the outside shape of the little plus sign on top of the part. Now, it is time to drill the holes. To do that, obviously, we need a cutting tool designed to make holes. In fact, we actually need two cutting tools, a spot drill and a drill. Let's start with the spot drill. We'll switch to the machine tool view of the operation navigator. We'll use mouse button three on pocket number three to insert a new tool. We can retrieve this spot drill from the library. We'll go into the drilling group and focus specifically on spot drills. Choose OK and then OK again. And here are all the spot drills that are available for us to use. Maybe something in the 8mm realm 
Let's see what that looks like. Okay, this spot drill doesn't have a 90 degree point, so that's not really what I'm interested in. This one does have a 90 degree point. It's slightly larger than the drilled hole, so I think that'll work for us. I'll choose OK and then cancel. And you can see that that tool that we've retrieved from the library is now available for us to use. And now we can insert a spot drilling operation using that tool. Mouse button 3 or the right mouse button, some people call it. Insert an operation. Solid Edge Cam Pro uses templates to organize the different operations that are available. We will switch to the hole making template. Under the hole making template, we see that the very first operation is called spot drilling. We'll use the spot drill tool in the program group, machining the workpiece using a spot drill method. Choose OK and our operation is created. Now we can choose the geometry that we wish to spot drill. Notice that as soon as I pick the first object, the graphics change to give me a better indication of what this particular tool will do when it machines that hole. We'll continue to choose the other three holes. One thing that concerns me a little bit is you may notice that the depth of the spot drill is so deep that it actually touches the diameter of the hole. That's not ideal for a spot drill because the next tool, a drill, should actually center on the shoulder that is left by the spot drill tool. So instead of going three millimeters, like the standard depth, this is by the way inherited from the geometry, I will choose all the holes and change the depth on them from that to a user defined value of two millimeters. That will allow our next tool to have a nice shoulder to center on as it begins its work and helps the location of the hole itself. Now let's check to make sure that the feeds and speeds are set. They are not, so we'll put in a surface speed of 20 and a feed per tooth of 0.1 and hit the calculate button and that'll give us a spindle speed and a feed rate. Generate and it looks like our operation is complete. Now we need to drill the holes. But what size are they anyway? In a previous lesson, we showed you how you can use analysis minimum radius very quickly. I want to show you a different method this time. This time I'll use information object. I find this to be a very handy way for obtaining information about a wide variety of geometry. Make sure that the filter is set to the entire assembly. And then we can simply choose that radius. Remember, we have to wait for the quick pick menu. We want the diameter of that edge. Okay, that's a six millimeter hole. Now we can create a new tool and this time we'll actually do that. Instead of retrieving a tool from the library, we'll actually create a new tool. Standard drill. I'll give it a name of drill six millimeters. 
Then of course we need to adjust the diameter and our tool is created. Now you may notice there's not a holder here. We can change lots of information about the tool, including the holder, if we choose. For example, I can retrieve a holder from the library, just like we do with tools. Now our tool has a holder. Now we can create a drilling operation very similar to the same way that we created the spot drilling operation. Insert operation, standard drilling, change the method to drill, choose the same feature geometry as before, Notice that Solid Edge Cam Pro automatically detected that the holes go all the way through, and so this tool will drill all the way through the part. Feeds and speeds. And generate the operation. Okay, let's see how our program looks now. First I'll turn off display of the actual part. Verify toolpath, 3D dynamic, and play. All right, looks like we've got a completely machined part. I'm Jim Wright, and thanks for watching.